Hi everyone, this is Omar Awan. I'm the Associate Vice Chair of Education in the Department of Radiology at the University of Maryland Medical Center. I wanna talk a little bit today about a topic that hasn't been covered much in the media and in the literature, and that's imaging of breakthrough COVID-19. And what do I mean by that? Well, breakthrough COVID-19 is testing positive for COVID-19 after being fully vaccinated, meaning after having gotten two shots of the Pfizer vaccine or two shots of the Moderna vaccine or one shot of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And you know, this is very relevant because even my own family members have tested positive after being fully vaccinated. And a couple of my colleagues at the University of Maryland, particularly Dr. Hussein, Dr. Judy, and Dr. White, published an article in the journal Radiology Cardiothoracic Imaging about this very topic and the imaging findings that we see in patients that are hospitalized with breakthrough COVID-19. And I want to amplify their work by talking a little bit about this important study. So in COVID-19 breakthrough, Despite being fully vaccinated, a small percentage of us will still get and still test positive for COVID-19 through the PCR test. And eight such patients were evaluated who presented at our hospital uh, who were fully vaccinated and developed COVID-19 uh, at the hospital. And they, the authors assessed the imaging findings on both chest X-ray and CT. And the average age of these patients was 54 years old. And Importantly, five out of the eight were immunocompromised. And that's important because, you know, the majority of the patients that we saw, you know, lacked or had decreased immune function to kind of fight the virus despite being vaccinated. And six out of the eight of these reported COVID symptoms, and most of them were mild. Thankfully, most of these were, you know, mild to moderate symptoms. You know, most of them did not have severe symptoms. In terms of the imaging findings, the majority of patients, so four out of the seven that got a chest x-ray had a totally normal chest x-ray. The other three had mild findings like, you know, patchy consolidation or patchy pneumonia or hazy opacities within the lungs. Five out of the eight patients had a CT scan and most had mild to moderate imaging findings. And I want to show some of the more dramatic findings that we saw in both of the examples that I'm going to show are in patients that were immunocompromised. So if we take a look here at this CT on the left side of the image, this here is the heart and this is the right lung, this is the left lung. We can see that the more normal aspect of the lung is dark because there's air here. So here anteriorly here in the right lung and here in the left lung, this dark area is air and that's the normal aspect of the lung. But here along the dependent portion of the lung, we have this dense white area which represents consolidation or in this case, pneumonia. So they have pneumonia along the bases or dependently along both the right and the left lung. Two weeks later, after you know, therapy, this findings have essentially more or less cleared. So we have marked and dramatic improvement in the COVID pneumonia that we see on, on the CT examination of the chest in this immunocompromised patient. In another immunocompromised patient, we have these patchy, hazy areas. So you can see black aerated lung, but there's this hazy, what we call ground glass opacity uh, throughout the lungs, nearly in every lobe of the lung here. And about 27 days later, the ground glass or hazy opacity persists, but it's decreased. So this is a marker for inflammation in the lung that was present in this patient with COVID-19, but then decreased subsequently with therapy here, okay? So in terms of the clinical course, 75% of these patients were discharged by the end of the two-week study period. Only a quarter of them required ICU admission. Both of those were immunocompromised, but even those patients were discharged from the ICU without any respiratory symptoms and without any requirements for supplemental oxygen, okay? And most importantly, there were no deaths in any of these eight patients in the two-week course that we assessed these patients uh, during this study. So really the take-home point is COVID-19 breakthrough is gonna become much more common with now the Omicron variant that's much more contagious. I'm sure you all know people that are fully vaccinated that have tested positive for COVID-19. And I'll remember the eight people in this study were all hospitalized. So many patients, like for example, even my family members didn't go to the hospital, but they tested positive for COVID-19. The vast majority of the patients had absent or mild imaging findings. You know, many four out of the seven had normal chest X-ray. The more dramatic findings were seen in patients that were immunocompromised who lacked the defense mechanism and antibodies to fight off the infection. And most importantly, no deaths were reported in this limited study. I hope this was helpful and I hope this sheds light to an increasing problem that we're seeing uh, in uh, public health here in America. Thank you so much for your attention.